Yeah, yeah, what up, what up? Chillin' in the house, word on the streets radio. I'm your host, DJ2020. I got Miss China right here on the cameras, you know what I'm saying? We do what we do, word on the streets radio unplugged. All right, there she go with the what up. That's my sexy bag talking her shit. But like right now, my main focus is on my man today. I got tremendous in the house, people, you know what I'm saying? And I've been trying to get up with him for a minute, you know what I'm saying? But I finally got him in the house. We chilling, we're gonna do a little talking to let you know what he's about and what's going on with him. So tremendous, what up? It's good, my G. How are you? I'm, I'm here. Right, I see you here. Um what's going on with you? I mean Yo, grinding my G. Alright. Everyday struggle, man. You know, Everyday grinding, struggle, grinding you know, like what? Music, trying to take it to the top, man. Alright. You know? I know you've been doing a lot of performances. I'm I'm just give me a little recap on your performances about where you performed at and how how you felt. So, man, I done perform on almost every club in this city, man. Hi. Oh, man, where do we start at? 4040. Hi. Um, the Catcher Lounge, um, Bowery Poetry Club, um, shit. I heard you ran into some stars over there. Oh, I ran into a couple of cats over there, man. John Starks. <laughs> Yeah, John Stocks, Easy Mo B. Still doing his thing. Easy Mo B. Yeah. Old school bad boy vet. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm going I'm to kick this interview off, you know what I'm saying, like we always do here on Word in the Streets. He's also a Word on the Streets representative, you know what I'm saying. He's down, you know what I'm saying. So, it's not like the boy ain't doing nothing. He He's also down with the segment, but this is an in-depth interview on him. So, I'm going to start off with the first question. Uh, tremendous. What is your perspective on music today? Mm, my perspective on music today is, you know, so so, man. So you know so. What I mean? So so. Right. Why you, you know say so me? so? I'm saying, far as who though? Um, music in general, right? Music in general. Music in general. Well, like I said, I'm not with the auto tune stuff and all that. That's man. right. Like, you know what I mean? I'm feeling the real music out there, you know what I mean? With, you know, Cat's been doing, but all this auto tune bullshit. Yeah, I think man, when T Pain did it, this, I think when you know T Pain I mean? did it, they should have just left it at T Pain. Everybody had to get a piece of that. Yeah. You know, and um, basically, I listen to you, and I, and, and, and I should be able to say this I've watched you grow. Yeah. And every CD you turn out to get better. I mean, what we'll, we'll be going through your head? I mean, uh, yo, it's just my life, man. The pain and aggression, you know, the frustration, right, right. the hunger. Right. It just gives me that drive to just, just to show people that, you know, record deal or not, I'm here to trash y'all, man. I'm here to let niggas know that they just can't fuck with me, period. Like, I don't care about your deal, what you got, lyrics. It's about you. Shit, bars it's, and it's songs. About, more or less, it's about you. You know what I mean? So that's basically, you know. So I would be wrong in even saying you envy anybody. Nah, I ain't envying. If anything, I congratulate these cats. That's, that's right. That's what I'm I don't about. envy nobody because if I envy, then I ain't going to get nothing good for me. Now, y'all heard know, that I'm here. on you. <laughs> what I'm going to get. <laughs> right, right. That's true. That's true. You know that's I mean? true. Your money don't make my pocket, you know? I don't. What you eat don't make me shit. Right. Basically, right. on that note. So, just <laughs> on the record, off the record. What is a day in the life with Tremendous like? I mean, like when you get up in the morning, I mean, what is... Well, if I ain't working or going to the studio, um, you know, I'm chilling. I might be in the gym, you know, doing right. some stuff like that. I play ball here and there. Right, You right. know what I mean? I go to the movies, you know, stuff so you go like to, that. you go to the gym, get your swole on? Yeah, I go get it in. You know, <laughs> yeah, I hit that right, bar right, and all that right. in the park. You How's know? your son? Oh, my son is great, man. All right. He, How old is he now? He's 10 years old all now, right, man. Yeah. Getting big, you know? Um, do you see him coming in the game? Is he trying to be like Daddy Tremendous? Um, well, he's into the music now. You know, he's listening to a lot of these songs out here, but he ain't rapping now. So Yo, I don't know. Maybe now. soon he might decide you. Right, right, right. And I'm, I'm sure you're gonna be there to be his, his overseer when, if he do decide to get in the game, you're gonna walk him through oh, this. Sure. Oh, if he wanna, you know, if he wants to. All right. You know? So. What is your future plans in music? I'm saying my future plans in music is basically like, you know, to get this grow or die thing to the top, man, you know. Right. And, you know, after you know after I drop and all that, I got to, you know, I want to put some artists out, you know, and I'm looking for cats to join this grow or die team, but only real dedicated people. I'll just get ready to say Nobody that. that's not serious in their music and their craft. If you ain't serious, then I ain't doing it. That's, that's, you know what I mean? That was like a younger me. That was like my speech to y'all back in the days. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, that was yeah. like my speech back. Y'all can't come in my house unless you. Official, and, and this dude did more than just come in my house. This dude 
came to where I was working at. And then he brought a little buddy with him, but we ain't gonna go into that. But he came all the way to our work where I worked at to show me that he was gonna put it in. And, and, and one day I'm gonna play that joint for y'all. You know, I still got that. That's in the archive. Yeah, when he was band aid, bruising cat. You know? But that's that 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 that's another story. We'll get into that. That's a word that's another word on the street exclusive. You know, young, tremendous, band aid. Um what effect do you want to have on music? Um, basically, I just want to touch people's lives, you know. Right. Get deep with it, man. You know what I mean? I want people to just feel my music and, you know, have cats just, let I me mean, go crazy when they hear my music. And, and what is the kind of message you trying to give out to cats? I'm just trying to, you know, save people's lives, man. Right, you know right. I mean? I mean, save their lives in what way? With your fireman? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You said, you said save people's lives. I mean... Nah, I'm just, you know what I mean? I just want to make a big impact on these cats. Right, you know what I mean? right, right. And just, um... Is it more or less in turn, um... You're saying, basically, you're the everyday dude... And you still go out there, you still do that nine to five, you still hustle. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it for the street, man. The people that's in the struggle, man. The straight, I mean? the straight, right, right. And you showing them there's a way out yeah, and all that. Definitely, that's, man. That's cool. I'm telling these young boys out here, put them guns down, man. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people getting killed out here, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I got a track on my mixtape that y'all really need to hear, man. What's it called? Better than they look, oh, okay. featuring Gladys Knight. And if you listen to it, you will really understand speaking that. Speaking of features, speaking of features. <laughs> You you have a lot of features coming from the Born to Be Famous CD. Is it safe to say these features that you have are are the people that you feel? Yeah, yeah. If I feature you, I get you on my my album or something. I gotta be feeling you. Right. I gotta be, man. I feel you. You know what I mean? That's I definitely real. gotta be feeling. And name some of your features. Oh, I got Fifty Cent on one of my joints. Method Man. Um, All right. Who else? Jay Z. Uh huh. Um, even got Michael Jackson. Rest in peace. No you know doubt, what I mean? No doubt. Big up Joint called How Many Stars is great. You know what I mean? I can't wait for Janet Jackson to hear that and Joe Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> and Catherine Jackson. <laughs> And the rest of the Jackson family, you know. You might become a Jackson after this. Um, you have used Michael before in the past, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. You remember the song, uh, Funny So Down? So funny So no, Down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so, man. so yeah, you definitely, I know Michael was one of your greats. And, 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 and I was looking through MySpace one day. This is about a while back. And you had a joint with Amy Winehouse. Oh, oh, yeah. That's called the Black to Black Remix. Shout out to Amy Winehouse, too. And, and over you, there in UK. And, and the thing I liked about it, to be honest, it wasn't the song itself. I like the song because I like anything you do. But it was the fact that Amy was in trouble at that time. She was going through a lot. And, and I figured, I said, damn, if Tremendous was on right now, he could have saved her. He could have saved her right there. And I'm not saying saved her literally, like I said earlier, not fireman cop status. But she was going through a lot in and out of rehab and stuff like this. And she was actually in the rehab when you released this song. So, yeah, you would have inspired her because you would have showed her that people want to, yeah, people like your music because she don't see that coming from our side. But she definitely heard it, man. I'm on her top friends. Go to uh, Amy Winehouse page. You'll see tremendous there. You know all right. With all the rest That's of them. So she, she heard the song. You know what I mean? So definitely. let's get into the meat and potatoes. The meat <laughs> and potatoes of what they want to know. What have you been working on now? Oh, basically what I've been working on now is this right here, baby. Now or never, man. This now is on never. the street. You know what I mean? And soon it's about to be on iTunes for all y'all fans out there, man. Everybody. Now or never, man. Let me let me let me bring that closer to the eyes of the public. Now or never. Tremendous. And and let me just go inside. Now I'm not moving too much, am I camera person? Alright. I'ma get into the matrix of the design. This is what I'm talking about. When y'all put out shit. And y'all decide to release projects, stop with the blank CDs. Nobody wants that. If you're trying to even just get an A&R somebody to...